Hi, my name is Hank Ayers and I'm with GPM Hydraulic Consulting. Today we're going to use our mobile hydraulic training lab in order to demonstrate what happens when we have low pressure in a system. Now this is the exact same mobile hydraulic training lab we use at our three-day maintenance basic hydraulic troubleshooting course. Now if you look at our gauge on this system, we have our pump running, but we have no pressure in the system. Now nine times out of ten, when you have a situation like this, somebody would change the pump. And that's because many people believe that a pump generates pressure. A pump's job is to generate flow, not pressure. It's the resistance to that flow that gives you pressure. So most of the time people will change a pump when they have a low pressure condition. But one very common problem when you have low pressure is a pump compensator spool can stick in the open position and that brings your swash plate back to neutral and at that point the pump's putting out very little flow so you will have a low pressure condition. Now once again most people would change this pump but we're going to show you today what we can do without changing the pump and we'll show you how to remedy this in about five minutes. Okay first we, what we want to do to check the compensator we have to remove it from the pump and you do so by taking these four screws off. Now make sure before you do this that you lock out and tag out this pump just so it can't start on its own accidentally because if it does with this compensator off you're going to get wet and possibly get injured. So you remo remove these four screws here and then we can lift the compensator off. Okay as you can see we have the compensator off of the pump. To remove the spool and the spring assembly you're going to back your compensator adjustment out. You should just be able to give it a little tap and bring our spool out and look at there we found some contamination. Not really sure what that is almost looks like needle bearings uh, possibly but somehow that has become lodged in our compensator spool and caused our compensator spool to stick in the open position and that ported our oil to our stroking cylinder in our pump and moved the swash plate back and the pump was putting out very little flow so we had a low pressure situation. Anytime you take one of these compensators apart you want to make sure that you check these orifices if they have them. Some of them do, some do not depending on the manufacturer and the model number of the pump. Make sure these orifices are clear. Clean the compensator uh, housing very thoroughly and then we can put it all back together and notice we make sure that you put it back together exactly like it was when you took it apart this little washer goes in first then your spring and we'll put our compensator back together and now we're ready to mount the compensator back on the pump and try it out Okay, now we have our compensator mounted back onto the pump and we have also unlocked our, took our locks off, pulled our locks off and then we turned our power unit on and now we're seeing pressure. And see we can fully adjust this back and forth, bring our pressure up and down. Now you notice that took us about five minutes to do, less than five minutes. And that's typically less time than it would take for you to walk to your storeroom and see if you have a new pump. If you found this tip helpful, please visit our website at www.gpmhydraulic.com and learn about our two-part training process. 